Hey guys, Mike Vasile here. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to make money with Teachable and how you can make anywhere from $100 a day to $5,000 per month. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fassi here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it is the fastest and the easiest way to make money online. We have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out in the free workshop below. With that being said, let's talk about Teachable because I have a loving relationship with it. You know, back in the day when I was living in Chiang Mai, Thailand, it was like very interesting, right? Because I was doing all of these like online businesses and ideas from like, for example, drop shipping to e-commerce to doing all of these different physical product businesses. And something inside of me was like, you know what? This physical business is cool, but I want to go more around the digital way, right? Like just imagine how awesome it would be to attract customers and clients from the internet, to have them go through a course, to have them get a bunch of value in crazy transformations. And you also don't have to spend like 30 hours a day just talking to people individually. Not only can you scale your influence, not only can you scale your impact, but you could also attract more wealth into your life while automating the value delivery to your customers and clients. That was like the goal, right? And and if you read the book, The 4-Hour Workweek, which like this isn't The 4-Hour Workweek, but it's like my book, right? Which inspired by The 4-Hour Workweek. It was talking about how the most effective businesses other than e-commerce businesses are when you could sell, sell digital products because it is very, very low cost to get up and running. I mean, you could just create videos. You don't even need a camera. You just get like a simple screen recording software, just go over like a PowerPoint. And you can make some serious cash without actually having to do all of the crazy manufacturing and supplies and dealing with customer service. And it was just like so much like heartaches with the physical products business, right? And I just did the math. I was like, okay, if I could just get one sale a day at a $200 product, that's already $6,000 a month profit. If I charge $500, if I just get 10 sales for the month, that's already $5,000 a month profit, right? So that was my goal. I created like a $500 program and I was like, okay, if I just get 10 sales a day, 10, or not 10 sales a day. If I could just get 10 sales a month, that's $5,000, right? I could pay myself a small salary and the rest of it, I could go ahead and just invest it in like my future, in my financial freedom, in like index funds and whatnot. That was like my goal, right? So Teachable was like really good because it was very easy for me to just get up and running. You know, I was very bad when it came to user design. You know, when I created, you know, courses in other platforms, it just looked weird, right? It didn't give that really good feel that I wanted when I wanted to talk to my customers and give them a really good experience. Teachable ended up doing that for me, right? And it ended up being pretty affordable as I got started. But let's talk about exactly how I launched a Teachable course because that's the goal of this to actually make money with your teachable courses. There's so many people that actually go and create teachable courses and if they've never actually made a sale, they're like, oh yeah, I have this course, but you, you don't make a full-time living off of it. How can you actually go ahead and make a full-time living with it? You need to go and launch your course. Okay. So let's talk about me. I, I had like a drop shipping course back in the day, right? I sold it for like 500 bucks and it was like around, I think 2016 or 2017 or something like that. Right. So before I actually went and said, hey guys, I have a course and no one ended up buying, I, I strategically made a launch plan for the first 30 days. I'm not gonna release anything about the course. I'm just gonna go talk about the course topics. You're probably wondering, well, well, how do I actually go ahead and do that? What topics do I need to know? Well, think about whatever your course is about, right? Because Teachable is for coaches or for people that wanna sell courses. Odds are there's topics that people are already searching for. So your goal is how can you, as an entrepreneur, get in front of those people? One thing that actually helps is if you go to YouTube and you start typing things in, like for example, I bought a bunch of like dating programs in the past because you know I like had a bunch of like nasty heartbreaks and I didn't have that much confidence when I was younger and I'm naturally an inter introvert. So I would actually take like a lot of programs for dating and, and getting better at self-confidence, right? So let's just type that in, self-confidence. As you can see, all of these things are people that people are actively searching for, not just on YouTube, but on Pinterest, on Google, on any search engine. If you create content on it, any of this, you will get found eventually. You're like, Mike, I don't have any customers for my programs. Well, how much content are you actually creating? Not based off of your day, but based off of people searching for things on Google on what their problem is, right? It's kind of like why I'm making this video right now. If you think about it mentally, like people are like, okay, I have a teachable course, but I want to learn how to make money with it. I have no idea how to make money with it. Okay, let me search on YouTube or Google. How's it going? That's how you came here. You could do that as well, but to sell your own course, right? So exact same thing like when I was doing dropshipping, I remember typing in dropshipping and I was like, oh my God, 
Look at all these programs. Look at all these words that people are searching for. And if you look back at my channel around the 2017 area, I went from like vlogging and you know, like, here's me in Copenhagen, here's me in Thailand, here's me in the Philippines, here's me swimming with whale sharks, to me making a bunch of dropshipping videos because I knew I would be found because people are actually searching for that. And that's what you guys got to do as well. Before you actually go and launch your teachable course, you need to figure out what are the conversations that your dream clients and your dream customers are already having. And your goal is, okay, how can I just start creating content about that? And when you go ahead and do that, it, it, it's just, you, you get in front of them faster. So what I would do is for 30 days, do not say that you have a course. You could maybe build your course and whatnot, or even if you want to save like real money, right? And, and you don't even want to like spend the money up front because remember, you're, you're, this is a software, right? You're going to have to spend every single month either $29 or $99. What I would actually do is just film your entire course, have all the regular videos on like a hard drive or whatnot. And then what you need to do is you need to start testing with, you know, like some type of organic means, making a bunch of videos and see just what they're reacting to. Because depending on how they're reacting to, that will change the sales presentation, that will change the, the sales video, that will change the, the website or the sales page, right? The problem with those people is they create a course and they go backwards and they try finding customers. They spend like, they get the pro plan because they're so excited. They spend $99. They figure out the software and then they're like, oh, wow, I have to go and create a course. So they go and spend three to four months creating the course while still having to spend like money on the software, which they're not using yet, which is ridiculous. And then they create the course. It's been like six months in and they're like, okay, now I got to find customers. How do I find customers? And before they do that, they're like, I got to create a good sales page. I need to make a good video. And before you know it, they, they've spent like six months and they haven't made any money yet. What's better is do the opposite way. Get your course. Just get your first, you know, version of the course up and ready, right? Don't upload it on Teachable yet. Just save it on like a regular hard drive or, you know, a hard disk or something like like external storage, right? Then what you need to do for 30 days, just make videos based off of topics of people or what are people talking about? This is what I did. So I, I created a long list of topics and I just talked about it for 30 days. And after like, I think the day 20th video, I was like, hey guys, I'm launching something big in seven days or 10 days. If you wanna be the first one to hear about it, join my free email newsletter where I will notify you when it launches, right? Insert benefit that you get without pain or, you know, experience or without having prior knowledge, right? People join your email list. And then guess what? Once you have like people joining your email list, you, you have a proof of concept like, okay, if I upload these videos on, you know, my, the teachable platform, I already have a waiting list of people that want to buy, right? They're excited. They told me they were. Now, now that I have a proof of concept and I have, you know, a couple people already interested, that's when you could go ahead, go on Teachable, get the pro plan. Not only that, but you also get like a, like a free 14 day trial, I think it is. And then you still have even more time to make money, right? You upload everything. And then instead of you like creating a course, spending six months of your life to, to launch this course, you could just reach out to your email newsletter, be like, hey guys, what are your biggest pain points and this problem? They tell you their pain points. Guess what? You take the words that they say, you put it as the headline. You put it as the headline of the sales presentation. You put it as the headline of the sales page. You make sure that you instill the pain points and their goals and what they want out of the course in the video presentation. And then guess what? They will be more likely than buy. You can make money. You can make the five grand a month that you want by just selling 10 of those courses at $500 a pop. But that's it, man. If you really want to sell, you need to do it with a pre-launch. And if you do not have that mentality, you will not ever be able to sell your courses. The best and most amount of money I made when I accidentally did a pre-launch. How it happened is I, was, I would make a bunch of content about things that I'm passionate about. Mostly it was because it was the mentors that I was like interviewing, right? And then what happened is audiences started building and they're like, we want something, we want something. They were joining my email newsletter and whatnot. They're like, sell us something. And we're like, oh my God, I don't have anything to sell. And that's when I reached out to like certain mentors and I was like, hey, can you create a program and we can sell them stuff? And they're like, yeah, like, let's go ahead and do it. And that's when we would have like five figure launches, six figure launches. And it would be like insane in that short amount of period of time. And people were like, well, how did you get so much sales of your course so fast? Well, it's because the selling happened when I was giving value for 30 days. And this is exactly what you guys need to get started with yours. And if you want to get started with that and you want an even faster way to make money online, check out the free workshop below. If you want to learn how to build email marketing campaigns, as well as creating beautiful landing pages for this to actually pre-sell the teachable before you actually get started with that, 
Check out the best softwares below and get your free trials there. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe, and type in Teachable Tutorials below if you want more tutorials on how to actually sell your Teachable course. Let me know. With that being said, love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Oh, and by the way, check out these podcasts. You'll really enjoy them. It's from a lot of other course creators that you would actually like because they make a lot of money either from their Teachable courses or from other areas as well, and they all live here in Bali. And it's really cool because everyone makes money online, travels around the world, lives a four-hour workweek life. Love you guys. See you guys later. You.